All right, with that, I want to uh, turn it back over to Mike, and he's going to talk a little bit about how you would modify an application. Okay, we just wanted to run through a few options you have for uh, doing modifications to show how convenient it can be. So the first thing we'll start with is manage permits and certs. So here, as it was described earlier, it's going to list your permits. Um, as applications get into the system, we'll also be linked to that submittal or that application. So in the future, you're going to be able to just click on the action button and it'll give you the, uh, the option for modification. So you can bring up that application, just make the, any changes that have occurred and you'll have that application right there. So it makes it quite a bit easier. Okay, you can also go through track submissions. So this is tracking all the submissions you've made. So we'll go down to here we have a permit issued, so um, you can also you can reference that by the submittal number. You can click on View, and then there's a button here that says Copy Submittal. So if you had a unit, uh, you submitted the application, and the permit was issued, um, and now you want to make a modification to that unit. You just go in here and click on Copy Submittal, and that's going to give you um, a copy of that original application. So then you'll have all that information input for you and you're just going to make a few changes that, that have occurred. So that should make the process easier. Um, the other method, of course, is just to, to start a new uh, submittal. And we click on construction standard application. And then you just indicate modification here. Okay, you fill in information like we did before. Same with the cover page and we'll show you how to do the mission point. Go down to a mission point. Okay, and then um, say for instance, we're modifying the boiler stack. So all we need to do is click on include and submittal and then it'd be part of the application. You do wanna make sure that all the information in there is correct. So I would click on view edit, look through, make sure everything's um, as it should be. In this case, we forgot to indicate a dis discharge style. So we'll update that information and save it. And then we just do the same for uh, the emission units and any control equipment, um, update our calculations. And that's just the same process that we already already showed you. But I just wanted to show you how to do modifications and, and how um, more, you know, it'll be simpler in the future as we get more information into the system. All right, I'll turn it back over to John. Okay, back to me. We're kind of wrapping up our um, presentation here for the construction permit portion of today's webinar. Um, I want to show you how to uh, request a determination, and then we'll have time. I want to show you how to use uh, the general permits and apply for general permit using easy air. Before I do that, again, uh, we're encouraging you to use this system. We think this is a, has a lot of advantages over paper application. I want to give you a couple of discouragements for using paper at this point. First of all, as Marty said, when we get a paper application in, DNR staff is going to have to enter that uh, application into the system. That's going to take time. The people who are going to be doing that here are the same people who are processing your applications and getting your permits out the door. So keep that in mind that um, if you want to save time, use Easy Air. The other thing is, when you do a paper application, and I hope that you will not, but if you do do one, remember you're going to have to submit a complete application. That may take you additional time because you, you know, have in the past maybe you haven't had to do that. With Easy Air, it's going to direct you more on what application is or what information is required. The only reason. To use paper, I think, is if you're uh, in a remote location and you don't have Wi-Fi uh, accessibility. All right, to conclude here quickly, uh, I want to show you how to request a determination. And again, you may think that uh, you'll never have to do this. We are uh, uh, available to talk to you often uh, over the phone, and a lot of times we can make determinations over the phone, but sometimes when things are more complicated, we have to get into um, doing it formally, or let's say you want something in writing. Well, then we're going to say, send us a, a letter 
or send us an application or now use Easy Air to make that request. Okay, so I'm in this determination form. I'm going to fill out the facility information, obviously. Um, I have my contact information. It's going to be myself. And um, just fill in the basic information that you need. And uh, we'll just pick anybody right here. Okay, let's go with that. Those fields will all populate. We've got all that populated. Phone number here. I'm just going through that quickly. Uh, again, this is what you did when you applied for the permit. Uh, you're just filling out basically an FI form. Okay, so I think I've got all that, so I'm going to save it. And we're missing some things here because I want to say that was done by an employee of the company and then my email address also. I'm going to get that in there. Okay. All right, so that's the first step, obviously, fill out the facility level information. Determination request is basically you're, you're putting something down. You want to make a change. So let's say you have a paint booth and you just want to add a, a, a natural gas heater. So we want to add a natural gas heater to our existing paint booth. And you give us the information that you need. Um, do we need to modify our permit? And it's often helpful if you give us the permit number so that we can figure that out for you. Okay. Um, so again, you may have a very complicated question. If you have a very complicated question and you don't have enough room here, if you want to have some attachments, by all means, uh, you can attach things just like we showed you with the application. If somebody, if you've been in discussion with somebody here at the DNR, you can put that person's name down and then we will go over and talk to Sean Corbin about this request. Okay, so again, this is how you would make a request for determination. Text and then attachment. We're going to save it. We're going to move on to the next field. Uh, there's no payment if we're a, uh, there's no AF form if we're a minor source. If we're a major source, then there's a billable uh, fee because of the time involved. So you would have to fill that information out, but we're ready to go here. Uh, going through the attachments, if we have any, we would go to next here. We would validate it. Okay, everything looks good. And again, we would apply. Okay, so we would submit this the same way we did our application. So security question, uh, PIN number, and then submit it. Okay. okay. 